I started to become like an alcoholic. I was drinking every single day. I would go to the liquor store and buy a bottle almost every day to drink. I turned into smoking weed every single day. I turned into doing so much sexual immorality every single day. And I would feel horrible after I did it, you know? I would drink just to do it because it wasn't for me. So the next day I would wake up being like, oh my gosh, Kelly, like, why did you do this? Why? So then I would drink and I would just repeat the cycle every single day. I had just turned into this horrible, awful person that I, I like, I just hated myself. I absolutely hated myself. And I just felt like, you know, well, you know, there's no turning back, Kelly. There is no turning back. You've done hurt everyone that you've loved, you know. There's no way that you can get out of this. So just, you know, keep doing it. Keep drinking, keep smoking weed, keep, you know, having sex with these guys <laughs> who absolutely don't love you. They don't mean anything to you. But, you know, I just felt like I couldn't get out of it. I would try to go back home to my husband and to my kids. And every time I would just mess it up again, every time. And um, I just remember this one day <laughs> I had left my apartment and I went to the gym, which is what I normally do. And when I was at the gym that day, I just felt like this sadness come over my body. <laughs> like just this sadness and I just felt the urge to want to cry. And I tried to hold it in. I tried to hold it in like I didn't want to cry. But it wouldn't go away. The sadness that I was feeling, it just would not go away. It was like, no, Kelly, you have got to cry. So I went to my car that day from the gym and I cried and I cried and I cried. You know, for the longest time. And I heard this voice in my head that told me to, um, to go visit my dad at the gravesite. Because <laughs> I hadn't been. So I went to the gravesite that day. And, um, you know, I just, I just remember feeling this peace come over my body, like just this amazing feeling of just pure peace, no sadness, none of that. You know, I just remember feeling like everything was going to be okay, you know, and, and then I heard this voice say, Kelly, everything is going to be okay. You know, just trust me, everything's going to be fine. So, you know, that's the day I got saved. <laughs> I asked God to forgive me for all of my sins, you know, and, and that I was willing to accept him in my heart and that I wanted his help. And I didn't want to be that person anymore. And um, <laughs> ever since that day, now, mind you, this has only been like, what is this, July the 5th? That happened on like April the 24th, I believe. April 25th, it was something like that. It's only been a couple of months. And um, <laughs> since that's happened, I have just been this completely different person. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I've been delivered from drinking. I've been delivered from smoking weed. I've been delivered from sexual immorality. <laughs> And I even got off my depression pills that I used to take, um, which I've been taking those. I have been taking those for a while because I suffered with postpartum depression with my son, my last son. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I'm not doing this video to get any type of likes or anything like that. You know, this video is simply to help any woman, <laughs> any woman that is out there struggling you know, and you're, you're looking at all these guys for this attention that you feel like you so desperately need out of these men, you know. You feel like these men are giving you all this attention because they really care about you, but they don't. They don't. They're just looking for one thing, and that's sex. And if they can find women that are going to give that to them, then, you know, <laughs> that's that's all they care about. Um, they don't care about your feelings. They don't care about your heart, your soul. 
you know, women go out here and we put on all these slutty clothes to get all this attention from these guys. And um, you end up sleeping with these guys and they talk about you like, I mean, they talk about you horribly, these guys do. I know it because I went through it. I remember when I was um, going through my adulterous affair, the guy that I was actually cheating on my husband with, <laughs> he was not a good person. Um, he used to treat me like crap, which what did I expect? You know, I wasn't doing anything right, you know, but he used to call me names and a whore and a slut and yell at me and just make me feel so small. And I would always still give him another chance to be my friend again, you know, because that was the good heart in me that I had. I always had a good heart. But now that I um, that I have God in my heart, um, I really know what true love is. You know, and, and a lot of people are really looking for that true love. Everybody on this earth is looking for true love. They're seeking it. They're trying to find it. And they're, they're looking in the wrong places because they're looking to get it through people. And, you know, it's, it's just not going to work until you really accept Jesus into your heart. You do not know what true love is. I'm speaking about it because I've experienced it. I've been there. I've done that. <laughs> you know I was I was looking for it and I didn't find it I never found it until I accepted Jesus into my heart I never found you know what I was looking for and now that I have accepted him in my heart and in my life and in my soul and my spirit um you know he cleansed me from that old horrible person that I was he forgave me for all of my sins you know his son died on the cross God's son died on the cross for us <laughs> so we can have a chance at eternity you know eternal life we don't have to burn in hell we don't have to um keep paying for our sins all we have to do is be sincere and ask God into our heart and let him know you know that we want him we want to have a relationship with him um and if this video can just help one girl you know who's going through with looking for acceptance and looking for love you know Jesus is love I promise you you don't have to dress naked for these men you don't have to you know dumb yourself down or try to be you know less than what you are we are all beautiful in God's image every single woman on this earth okay don't you know keep searching to these guys for this attention that they're going to give you it's not the right attention I promise you it's not <laughs> I did it, I experienced it, I know it. And I know that all women are just looking for that love and acceptance, I know it. Cause that's what I was doing. <laughs> but um, the purpose for my video is just to get my testimony out there and let people know that, you know, God is wonderful and he is love. And once you do have him in your heart, you don't look for that acceptance from people anymore. You don't do it because God is going to help you with everything that you ever need help with. And he's going to bless you with any and everything that, you know, your heart could ever desire. If you just listen to him and follow him and do exactly what he says, you know, um, <laughs> tell that devil, you rebuke, rebuke the devil. That's what I do now. Um, and just know, ladies, that. You don't have to be perfect or anything like that. You know, that's that's what's wrong with a lot of the world today. We feel like ladies, we feel as though we have to be these perfect creatures. You know, we got to have the biggest butt, <laughs> the biggest breasts, um, the brightest, whitest teeth, the longest hair, um, the prettiest eyes. You know, we feel like we have to have all of these things because that's the way society has portrayed us to be. And ladies, I'm here to tell you, no, you don't have to do that. There is a man that God has chosen for every single one of us. A man that's going to treat you with dignity and respect and love you and cherish you um, and treat you like a queen. Because that's what we all deserve to be treated like, ladies, is a queen. We don't deserve to be treated like whores and sluts. You know, stop portraying yourself to be that way, ladies. You know that <laughs> it's just a battle that you won't win. I know I, I did it been there i done it so um 
that's all I'm done with my testimony I just pray that anyone that watches this that they can you know get something out of it that Jesus is love and to stop looking in all these guys for this love that you'll never find until you really accept Jesus in your heart um until you really accept Jesus in your heart that's that's when you find real love and he'll he'll guide you in the right direction you just have to listen to him